All right, let's look at calculating voltages in transformers. So we're going to go through a question. We're going to transpose our formula here and use our technique of transposition of this so we can figure out any particular value depending on what we're being asked. In this case, we're being asked for voltages. And then over here, we'll do some calculation to figure out if we're correct or not. Okay, let's read through the question first of all. Now, if a transformer has a primary voltage of 400 volts, so that's this one here, it's given us the VP, primary voltage, and has a turns ratio of one to six, so that's this section they've given us, calculate the secondary voltage. They're asking for this, aren't they? Secondary voltage. Right, okay, so let's do what we've done each time with this, and let's rewrite our formula out, and then let's input some values so we know where we stand and we know what values we can and we can't use in order to progress with our question. Right, let's start with voltages. So they've given us our primary voltage of 400 volts, which is good. Secondary voltage, that's what they're asking us to figure out. So we don't know that. Now, number of turns primary, number of turns secondary. Well, they've given us this information on turns ratio. Now, I'll tell you that when you see turns ratio and it gives you the numbers, you can input that as your NS and your NP, like this, one and six. Perfect. Current in the question, they've given us absolutely no information, so we're not interested in that. We're just gonna use these two sections for our question down here now. Right, so we know where we stand, we know what we can use. So let's now transpose this formula to make VS the subject of our formula. That's what we want it to read as, VS equals something. So from that first video, you'll understand that to transpose this formula and to figure out what's below the divisor line, if this is the subject of our formula, what below the divisor line, we're gonna end up with VS equals, take the other one, VP. So we're gonna take VP and we're gonna multiply that by what we do know, which is this section here, because we know, don't we, it's one to six, the turns ratio. Right, but remember, when you're doing this and you're figuring out what's below a divisor line, this one, you're, what you multiply this by, so this section, you're going to flip these two round. So let's put some brackets in and then let's go NS over NP. So you'll notice there that I've flipped these two round. Watch that first video on transposition of this formula to get a clear understanding of why I've done that. Okay, so let's now input some values into this and prove that we're actually right. So the voltage secondary is going to be equal to the VP, which is the voltage primary, 400 volts. So we're going to do 400 multiplied by what we do know, which is this turns ratio, but we flipped it round, haven't we? So it's not going to read as one over six. It's going to read as six over one. And when we input those values into a calculator, that's going to come out and give us an answer of 2,400 volts. So again, it works correctly, this formula, if you remember to flip those round. So when you're working with what's on the bottom, take what's above, multiply it by the values that you know, but flip them round. Go back to that first video on transposition of this formula to get a clear understanding of that, and then practice these yourself. 